Well, the man on a mission to bring down the Tea Party is now facing some trouble of his own. On his website, he urged people to infiltrate Tea Party rallies and embarrass the Tea Party movement by showing up and acting badly. His name is Jason, sorry, James Levin. Turns out this man is a public school teacher. He teaches middle schoolers. Now he's been suspended as the school district investigates whether his political activity crossed an ethical line. So, should this guy be teaching children? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, radio talk show host Mike Gallagher and radio talk show host Mark Levine. Okay, guys, so uh, this guy, now we know we covered him, and we knew that he created this website, which, by the way, he didn't even have the nerve to register under his own name. He registered under Ben Franklin. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it really was Ben Franklin. Anyway, uh, Mike, you tell me, should the school district fire this guy? I'm not even sure there's even a, a reason to ask the question, Megan. Of course he should be fired. If this doesn't violate a, a code of ethics that I would hope even public school systems in Oregon have, I don't know what does. I mean, it's sleazy. It's, uh, it's offensive to millions of Americans. I was at a Tea Party rally last night here in North Texas, Megan. Thousands and thousands, about 10 or 15,000 men, women, children, grandparents, their grandkids uh, having cookouts and playing patriotic music. I mean, it's a great effort to be a part of this thing to see and to have a guy like this, this creep, come along and try to pretend to be, dress up as Adolf Hitler and try to dis discredit this side of the, of the movement. It's despicable and it's the reason so many families homeschool their kids. They don't want no, well, creeps like this though, Mark, indoctrinating do we, their children. Doesn't this guy, don't teachers have First Amendment rights to say what they want to say on blogs? Oh, I think he has the right to say what he wants to say, but I think he went too far. I mean, it's, it's clear, at, at least according to Fox News, he was trying to get people's social security numbers. Look, I mean, there's a point where free speech goes too far. One of the things that when we're in uh, protests, for example, we would see Code Pink come along and we'd say, you know what, we want to disassociate ourselves from you. If the Tea Party people would disassociate themselves from the people with the Hitler mustaches, from the people that claim that Barack Obama was born in the United States, from the crazy lunatics that shout racial and homophobic epithets, then they wouldn't have this problem. Problem. And so I would hope that if any crazy guy like Jason Mark. Levin comes along, that the Tea Party will will disassociate themselves from him and from anyone else doing this crazy Go stuff. Go ahead, Mike. Well, Mark, I can say as somebody who's fond of the Tea Party movement, I guess I'm part of the Tea Party movement, I will proudly disassociate, if that's what you're looking for, Mark, uh, the Tea Party movement from any of these people who say ugly, mean-spirited things. The Tea Party movement is And that is would include Rush Limbaugh, the right, Matt Gallagher? Well, I, I mean, when I Rush Limbaugh compares Barack right. Obama to Hitler, you will disassociate yourself from Rush Limbaugh, correct? I will, no, no, right? I want to associate myself. I'll, I'll ride on Rush's coattails all the way I can. Yeah, but, but he compares Obama day, to Hitler. Megan, What's the difference? These What's are the all opi Mike? opinions that people have. The, the Tea Party movement doesn't have an official opinion about Barack Obama as Adolf Hitler or anything. On whether or not he's Hitler or not? Oh, no, so the Tea but Party I mean, doesn't the, the care end, whether or not, oh, oh come on. But, all right, but come let, on, let me, Mike, party, no, if you can't. Let, let me just jump in to get us back on track here because, you know, our focus is, the, okay. is this teacher. And here's my question to you. Right. Right. The, the school district has come out and said this guy does have the right to free speech. All they're investigating is whether he posted any of these blog entries using school computers. So if he didn't do that, if just on his own time and his own home computer he posted these, uh, you know, these rantings of urging people to join, infiltrate the Tea Party and, and, you know, behave badly, then apparently, according to the school, Mike, there's no problem. And let me ask you, because he mentions this the FoxNews.com article, there's a now right. deleted post apparently on his Crash the Tea Party website where he calls on supporters to collect the social security numbers, among other personal identifying information, of as many Tea Party supporters as they can at the rallies, saying we need as much information, the more data we can mine from the Tea Partiers, the more mayhem we can cause with it. I don't get how this guy, if he's doing that, if he's trying to get their social security numbers for, for ill purposes, how the school can stand behind him, Mike. They, they can't. And, you know, this is the problem with the First Amendment argument. People like to say, what about the First Amendment right to, to post blogs or to create mayhem over an ideological issue they don't understand? The school district has a right, too, to say, we don't want a guy like this teaching our kids. The First Amendment right doesn't trump everything else. And employers have a right to say, this guy is engaged in unethical, maybe illegal behavior. I'm glad they're investigating. Good for them. And they ought to kick his fanny out of the teaching Mark, profession Mark, do you think forever. that's right? I mean, if it's separate and apart from the issue the school's looking at about whether he uses school computers. If, he, if he's posting that kind of stuff on his blog, even if he's using his home computer, should he be teaching middle schoolers? 
<laughs> Megan, I'm afraid I agree. Look, it's one thing to go. He could do a counter protest. That'd be fine. He could do satire. That would be fine. But when you're going around collecting people's social security numbers, that sounds more like identity theft than free speech to that's me. Nice. Right. So that's nice. That's nice. You two true, agree on that. We have a happy true, moment here. I'm okay with firing it. him. I can't believe it. No, <laughs> if that's true. You've got to prove it. with a liberal talk show host. You know, I, I want to ask you this because have to but, agree. But, but before, yeah. before I let you go, I want to ask you this, Mark, because you raised the issue of the Tea Party years and some of their behavior. You know, this is a point I've raised with some other folks on this show in connection with this story. If the Tea Partiers really are so bad and they, and they engage in all this bad behavior, why, why would this guy need to infiltrate them to act badly? Why not just leave them to their own devices and let them sink their own ship? You know, I don't have to defend one crazy guy. I mean, you know, I don't know why this is such a big news story, frankly. It seems to me, though, we should be consistent on the left and the right. The right should disassociate itself from people like James O'Keefe, who tried to infiltrate ACORN. Oh, and on. we on the left should disassociate ourselves from this Oregon teacher. And I proudly disassociate myself from anything this to do with him. All this, right. this Tea Party movement is a freight train that the left can't stop, and we're going to march. We're, we're going to drive it all the way through November the second. It's a beautiful thing to watch. All right, it's guys. a beautiful thing. I'd this like democracy to, in action. They could they could keep going. I mean, maybe I, we'll let them, and then I'll post it on our on our webpage. In any event, Mark and Mike, thanks so much for being here. Okay, guys, thanks take for care. Having us.